Hello, I'm novice awesomely dishevelled from the Glasgow Mission of the Order of Perpetual Indulgence. I'm here again today thanks to funding from Comic Relief's LGBTQ plus COVID-19 Recovery Fund in partnership with the Equality Network and Metro Charity. And through them I've managed to buy this book called I Am Jazz. I'll try and hold it up so you can see lots of the pictures. I am Jazz. For as long as I can remember, my favourite colour has been pink, my second favourite colour is silver, and my third favourite colour is green. Here are some of my other favourite things. Dancing, singing, backflips, drawing, soccer, swimming, makeup and pretending I'm a pop star. She likes lots of things, doesn't she? Most of all, I love mermaids and sometimes I even wear a mermaid tail in the pool. I wish I had a mermaid tail like that to wear in the pool. My best friends are Samantha and Casey and we always have fun together. We like high heels and princess gowns or cartwheels and trampolines. But I'm not exactly like Samantha and Casey. I have a girl brain, but a boy body, and this is called transgender, and I was born this way. When I was very little, and my mum would say, you're such a good boy, I would say, no mama, good girl. And at first my family was confused. They'd always thought of me as a boy. As I got a little older, I hardly ever played with trucks or tools or superheroes. Only princesses and mermaid costumes. My brothers told me this was girl stuff. I kept right on playing. My sister says I was always talking to her about my girl thoughts and my girl dreams and how one day I would be a beautiful lady and she'd giggle and say, you're a funny kid. Sometimes my parents let me wear my sister's dresses around the house. But whenever we went out, I had to put on my boy clothes again and this made me mad. Still, I never gave up trying to convince them. Pretending I was a boy felt like telling a lie. Then one amazing day, everything changed. Mum and Dad took me to a new doctor who asked me lots and lots of questions. And afterward, the doctor spoke to my parents and I heard the word transgender for the first time. That night at bedtime, my parents both hugged me and said, We understand now. Be who you are and we love you no matter what. Mum and Dad told me I could start wearing girl clothes to school and growing my hair long. And they even let me change my name to Jazz. Being jazz felt much more like being me. Mum said that being jazz would make me different from the other kids at school, but that being different is okay. What's important, she said, is that I'm happy with who I am. Being jazz caused some other people to be confused too, like the teachers at school. And at the beginning of the year, they wanted me to use the boys' bathroom and play in the boys' team in gym class. But that didn't feel normal to me at all. I was happy when the teachers changed their minds. I can't imagine not playing on the same team as Casey and Samantha. And even today, there are kids who tease me or call me the boy name or ignore me altogether. And this makes me feel crummy. And then I remember that the kids who get to know me usually want to be my friend. And they say I'm one of the nicest girls in school. I don't mind being different. Different special. I think what matters most is what a person is like on the inside. And inside I am happy. I am having fun. I am proud. I am jazz. In the end.